on tomorrow's Fry J Live at a new time, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be taking a look back at the Michael Vaughn case. It's been more than two years since little Michael Vaughn went missing from his home in Fruitland, Idaho. The little boy who was nicknamed Monkey was last seen near Southwest 9th Street on July 21st, 2021. Back in July, Fruitland Police Department said that they submitted a case to the Payette County Prosecutor along with a probable cause affidavit. In Friday's Live, we will revisit an interview that JLR did with Brandon Shirtliff. Interesting. Yeah. Man, I, I'm so scatterbrained here because it's just a mystery. It's a mystery. It That's all it is right now at this point. Yeah. But you're sorry, like if, if, if the Vons were watching right now, what would you say to Michael Vons back? I would say um, don't lose hope. Keep um, keep your head up, keep your chin up and know that he might still be out there somewhere because they never brought him into their house when I was there. Not once. No little kids ever even came into that house and I was there like a good majority of the time running the taxi business. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They lied, you know? So, and Monkey's mom, Brandy, has a message for Brandon. 819 days. And Brandon, you, you know, you know what happened to our beautiful baby. Whether you were directly involved, but you know, you need to start talking. You need to come forward. Quit, quit lying, quit hiding. Please tell us where Michael is. Let our family have some rest, please. Let us bring our baby home. We've, We've worked tirelessly, endlessly. Law enforcement, stop protecting these criminals. It's time to tell the truth. It's time to own up. It's time to find Michael and bring him home and stop your BS. Same with you, Adrian, because I know you're watching as well. 819 days. And Brandon, you, you know. I heard this today and I thought it would be a good time to go over JLR's interview with Brandon. Even if none of this makes sense to you, we will go over it all in tomorrow's live at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, only here on J is for Justice.